It's going to be a video on how to remove and replace the interior door panels on an NV200. This will be from years 2012 up to 2020. This is a 2020. Some models may vary a little bit, but the principle will be about the same. I'll be replacing the factory speakers with kickers. Uh, they do not direct bolt in. You're going to need to get on Amazon, and I'll put a link on to some 6.5 inch speaker adapters for Nissan uh, to make them fit in there. I'm actually putting 6 and 3 quarters, but the 6.5 inch adapter will fit. I'm going to break it into two videos, so the introductions may sound a little weird, but basically I did the passenger door, the driver door, and then I did this introduction for both of them. I'm going to put a list of tools needed for both doors, and I'm going to make one video of doing both doors all together. So if you're just on one side or the other to replace something inside the door, you can find out how to take the panel off and put it back on. If you're actually doing the speakers, you can see both sides done. Today I'm going to be taking off the driver's side door panel and replacing the speaker. So I'm going to be showing you how to remove the door panel, reinstall the door panel, and replace the speaker. Now to remove the door panel, there are a few bolts. There's one down inside the handle. There's one behind this plastic cover behind your door handle, and there's one more bolt in here. The first thing we need to do is remove your switch control. We're going to unplug it, take it out. We're going to pop this tab out, and then we're going to take out the bolt from behind here. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the Torx bit, and it's almost impossible to get the camera and the light in there at the same time. But you get the idea this just unscrews from here. The next thing I need to do is remove this panel back here. So I'm going to open the door handle a little bit, put my body tool in here and slide towards the front, and that little cover pops right off. Behind there's a 10 millimeter bolt, so we're going to remove that next. Removing the 10 millimeter bolt, break it loose, I'm just going to unscrew it by hand. This is a machine bolt, it should come out fairly easy. The other one behind the panel is threaded and it grabbed the insulation when I tried to take it out the other side, but this one's coming out super easy. The hard part's getting a hold of it. I want to remove this panel. So I'm going to lift straight up on the panel. If it doesn't pop all the way out, like mine's getting caught towards the front, I'm going to take one of my body tools. I'm going to insert it, and I'm going to pry gently and just work it loose. There are four tabs across the back, three or four on the bottom. So just kind of work it. Don't pull too hard and it should pop up off of there. Sometimes it feels like you're going to break something and it is possible you will break something, but it's not very likely. Now back to here. Get a light back on it. Where this tab is for the wiring harness, it's hard to see, but there's a little tab right here. What you want to do is you want to push in on this tab and pull back on the harness. I don't know get my hands in the way. Push in and pull. And there's your harness off. Now behind that, as you can see, there's another bolt back in there. This one has a Phillips head in it. Okay, my impact. Just shoot it out. If you feel better with a uh, ratchet, you can ratchet it out either way, whatever makes you feel better. Now, if you watch me do the passenger side first, you'll notice that I made a mistake and I forgot to pull this pin out on the side here. This is a push pin, so I got to get in between the cap and the lid. I showed you on the other side how to get that out of there. So basically, there's a flat edge here. I stuck a little thin screwdriver. I separated it. I'm going to pull straight back, and then the pin pops loose. So what you're doing when you pop it in is it spreads here and keeps it from coming out. You're getting down in between these two little grooves here, and you're starting it. Once you get it, then you pull this out, which raises the pin and lets you push in and out. So one of the first things I want to do is pull this piece off here. Next thing I want to do is I want to try to find a loose spot. I've got one down here at the bottom corner. I'll try to get a body tool in there and get the first pin popped. 
and these take a little bit of work. Once you pop the first pin, it's just getting your hands in behind it and give a firm little tug. Don't pull too hard at the top because this drops down in behind the window or down in the door. So we'll get all the bottom ones first. It's possible, same as the side, if you break one of these tabs on an auto zone, somewhere to pick up some new ones. But once you get all the tabs popped, this will lift straight up and out. And you're going to be caught with your lock and you're going to get caught with your door mechanism. So we'll pull those off, pull them out towards the front, and lift them up out of the hole. There's my door panel off. This is just silicone on from the factory. Depending on how good a job they did it, that just presses back on. And in this one, I lost one, two tabs. Uh, this one actually broke. I'll probably have to get another one. There's enough there to catch on. And I got one up here in the top. I might have one in a box somewhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my pins out. I've got left in here, so I can put them back on my door. Just one. Two. As you can see, they make a lot of noise, but the pin actually just comes out. And this one's a different type, so I'm going to go back to my metal tool. I've got to work it in behind. I started this with a little small flathead. Get my metal tool back in behind it. Put some in there behind it, then I can pop it out. So those are my tabs out of the door, and that's the one I snapped the top off of. Again, it's going to happen. There's enough here that actually catches. And we'll slide this back in the door panel and pop it back in place. All right, I want to move my speaker here, or my wiring harness. I'm going to lift up on this little tab, and I'm going to push straight in on it. So the little tab here, pushing in. When I push in, pull straight up on the harness, and the wiring harness comes off. Next thing is taking the three bolts out again 10 millimeter or your impact depending on what you feel like um, I'll push a little pressure on this so they don't strip out so worst case they strip out you got a 10 millimeter bolt on them those are loose and the speaker pops out now, as you can see there is a, a mounting bracket here so if you put a regular speaker in the door, your magnet's going to hit the window and you're going to have some problems. So don't just drop a speaker in the hole here. Get online if you didn't already and buy some speaker adapter. Here's my Nissan speaker adapter. This is for a six and a half inch speaker, five and a half inch speakers are available. Not sure why you would do that, but if you want a five and a half, you could do that. You can actually put a six and three quarter in here, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to take the adapter ring. I'm going to put it back in place using the factory bolts. I'm just going to start them. That way I don't strip them out when I'm going to run them in. These do look like self-tapping bolts. They'll probably cut a hole in anything, but I'll try not to re-tap it if I don't have to. So I've got this started. I'm going to take my drill. I'm just going to snug them up. And there's your housing ready for your speaker. Next thing I want to do is expose some of this wire. So I've got a razor knife here. Do not cut yourself. Um, this is a weird tape. It's like a nylon tape. So I'm just cutting the sheathing back without cutting through the wire. I'm going to peel back a couple inches of this. Again, without cutting my finger. If I cut my finger, maybe I'll get some more views. All right, sorry, that was taking too long. So I went ahead and just clipped it, but basically... I got back to the point where I can actually splice into it. I'm going to save enough for this original factory harness that if I ever want to put them in somewhere or if I want to sell them, 
there's going to be enough lead there that I can actually use it again. So I'll pop that back on my factory speaker. I'll strip my two ends off. This looks just like the other side. There's one with a stripe, one without a stripe. The one with the stripe on it was the hot on the other side. I'm going to assume it's the hot on this side, but we're going to test them again just to make sure since I don't have the wiring harness or wiring diagram. So there's my two wires stripped back. Now same as the other side to test positive and negative. Voltmeter to 200 millivolts. I'm going to take my lead. I'm pretty sure the one with the black stripe or with the green stripe is my positive. So I'm going to stick my red lead on that, my black lead on the other one. I'm going to watch my voltmeter. I've got a plus 10, so I know I'm the right way. If I flip it around the opposite way and put the red on the other line, I actually get a minus. So if it's minus, you get your leads backwards. So I know for a fact the one with the stripe is my hot. try to do this without getting in the camera way or without being a lot easier when you're not trying to record it. I'm actually going to cheat on this one. I'm going to cut those two little leads off because I'm going to cut the wire anyhow. That way I have a smoother piece to go through my hole. If you had to, you can make this hole a little bit bigger, but I'm going to try to keep it right where it's at. It's a nice snug fit. I'm going to put my speaker in place. I'm going to go ahead and pull my wire pretty tight. I'm not going to pull it all the way tight. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack back in there, but not much. I'm going to go get the screws, pop the screws in, hold the speaker in place. All right, here's the screws that came with the uh, speakers. I'm going to just start one in place. I'm going to allow it about three quarters of the way in. I'm going to get inside my speaker up in there. I'm not going to super tighten it. I'm just going to snug it up so it doesn't fall out. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my other ones, and then I'll tighten them all down evenly. And I've said this on other videos, I said it on the other door. I prefer to keep my finger in between the speaker cone and the screwdriver. So if the screwdriver slips, I stab myself and not my speaker. Um, I'll heal, the speaker won't. Some of the other people might not feel that way, but okay, I know for a fact the black stripe is my negative coming off of my kicker. So I'm going to strip these wires back a little bit. I don't want a low, whole lot of wire up in here. I just want to kind of get them to where they're about even. So I'm going to cut those. Strip them off a little bit. It's nice and rubbery. I'll try not to get into the wire any. You don't want to go too deep and actually cut part of the wire off and lose some of your uh, wire. Okay, now since I know my positive is the one with the black lead or with the black stripe, I'll hook my positive up to the one that I know is positive with no black stripe. And my negative to the other one. All right, I'm going to use these um, end connectors or butt connectors. You can use wire nuts here. You can use the um, butt connectors or barrel connectors that come with it. Um, tape them, whatever you want. Just make sure you're not touching each other. You're not touching the housing of the door. Um, this is just what I prefer to do. If you want to solder it, you can solder them. Okay, I'm going to scrimp those. going anywhere. First thing I'm going to do is zip tie this wire up. I'm going to take my zip tie and I'll just kind of make a curve in the end of it. I don't want to tear any more of the factory plastic than I have to. So I'm just going to make a horseshoe out of this and I'm going to fish it up and try to get it back down behind the plastic. Sometimes it pops right through and sometimes you got to work it. Not lucky you got it right through. So I'm going to go and start the zip tie. I'm just going to fold these back on themselves. Just making sure I'm not touching anything. Make sure they're not pinned.
pinched. Make sure they're not touching the housing or grounded out. I'm going to cut my zip tie off. And me personally, I just roll the connector out of the way, either down or up. That way it doesn't get caught or hit. So there's your speaker installed. Again, I've put all my tabs back in place first. On the inside of the door panel, this is what's hard to see. There's a little ball in here. There's a little pin in this one. That's where you drop the balls and pin in that up over there. I can't really show you because I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. But the first thing you need to do is the one with the rod on it goes in the top. You know, just start the rod in there. It only goes one way. You've got to kind of turn the mechanism straight. And then you fold it back and lock it into place. Same with the ball. The ball drops in. You fold it back. You lock it into place. I'm going to grab my wiring harness. Make sure it's where I can reach it through the door. And it is. And I'm going to hook these pieces in the top first. Just over top of the window and down in the ledge. Pull out a little bit. Just took a little wiggling to get down in there last time. And there we go. So now I'm down in there on both sides. I'm going to look at my tabs. I'm just going to kind of visually make sure they're lined up. That one started, that one started. And once you get them started, it just kind of falls into place. Take your palm, bump them, and you'll hear them lock. If they don't lock, double check your alignment like I just did, and bump them again. Everything should click in place. Door panel secure. Even the tab that I broke a little bit, it's still latched on there good. Next thing I'm going to do is get my side pin. I'm going to pull that pin all the way out. Slide it up in the hole. And then push the pin forward. And that locks that in place. Next thing we've got to get our door panel screws back in. So I'm going to grab the threaded one. which is this guy. And I'll we'll start it. And once I get it started, grab my impact and I'm going to run it in. Do not over tighten this. You're just tightening it against plastic. So as soon as it stops, you're pretty much done if you want to check it. A little bit more than hand tight, and that's all you need. Because if you over tighten this, you're going to crush your plastic. I'm going to grab my top one now, which is the machine threaded one. Pop it in there. Again, sorry about the light. I don't have any way to get light in here, so my little headlight was just more annoying than anything. I'll start that one. Snug it up. I'm going to take my cover. I'm going to put the front end first because there's like a little clip here. So I'm going to hook the front end and then pop the back down. So pull the panel up. Put it in place. Put the front end first. And then pop the back on. Like so. So that's in. I'm going to take our wiring harness and we're going to plug it back in. Again, that little tab goes to the front, locks in place. We've got three tabs in the front and we've got four tabs on the back. So make sure you go down nice and even. If it doesn't go in, check your tabs, make sure you're not pinching anything, you don't want to break anything. And that'll just pop in place. Almost the last step, we're going to take our Torx bit, put it back down in our door. That's our pole. If you don't put that in when you pull the door, you're probably going to pull the door handle off eventually. And then last but not least, we're going to take our cover, line it back up, and these just push in. Uh, I'm not sure how well I like that design. Uh, 
Um, again, brand new vehicle, I haven't had it very long. Um, but the only thing holding this in are these little pins and these little pieces of rubber. Uh, seems to me like I'm going to be sitting on the side of the road one day and that's going to fall off because it doesn't go in there very tight at all. So that's how you remove and reinstall the door panel on an NV200 and replace the speaker. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please click like and subscribe. Hopefully I didn't bore you to death. That's only the first time I've done this vehicle, so I think I got through it pretty well. Uh, please fast forward through any of the sections you already understand.